Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Review for today. Friday the 6th of October 2023. I'm playing the magic of dream. Open Heavens is authored by that in the Lord Pastor E.A. Adebwe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Father, we want to say thank you for who you are. We are grateful for yet another day. Christ, bless your holy name. We say, Blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for bringing your words to us. Thank you for daily loading us with your benefit. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that as you have brought your word to us again, that you will transform our lives, that indeed your word will illuminate our lives. It will be a guide unto our path and transform our lives for good in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic for today is Call Him by His Name. Call him by his names. Our Bible reading is taken from the book of Isaiah 25 verse 1. O Lord, thou art my God. I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name. For thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Our Bible reading is taken from the book of Philippians 2 verse 9 to 10. Philippians 2 verse 9 to 10. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Praise to Lord. Hallelujah. The message. Jesus clearly loves names and according to our Bible reading today, his name is above all other names. Jesus calls himself several names some of which include the Son of Man, Matthew 18, verse 11, the door, John 10, verse 7, bread of life, John 6, verse 35. Sometimes he would even combine several names together. For example, he combined two names in John 11, 25, three names in John 14, 6, five names in Isaiah 9, verse 6, and eight names in Revelation 1, verse 8. Everybody knows God as God, but when people get closer to him, they begin to have other names of him that are born out of their experience with him. For example, in Genesis 22 verse 14, Abraham came up with Jehovah Jireh because God miraculously provided a lamb when he needed to make a sacrifice. In Exodus 17 verse 11, Moses came up with Jehovah Nissi because God helped them win the battle against the Amalekites and promised to wipe out their remembrance from under heaven. God enjoys being called by names based on how he has revealed himself to you. When I was younger, we used to have appellations amongst ourselves. For example, you could call your son Ade. But he could call himself a desco. Thus, if you decide to send Ade on an errand and you want him to go cheerfully, you could call him a desco. In the same way, when you are related with God and you want him to do something for you, call him a name that relates to the thing that you will see him move in accordance with the name to call him is one. Who established this himself? In Exodus 15 verse 26, when God was telling the Israelites that they would not get infected with the diseases of the Egyptians, he ended that statement by introducing one of his names to them. He said, I am the Lord that he let thee. In Exodus 3 verse 14, where Moses asked for God's name, he introduced himself as I am that I am that I am. This was a general name given to the Israelites because on their journey they needed many dimensions of God. At different points they needed God to provide for, protect and heal them, even to make a way for them. Thus, if you want God to move in a particular dimension, Call him by a name that relates to what you want him to do for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic once more is 
call him by his names. In today's devotion, adapting the Lord through the help of the Holy Spirit, is speaking to us that we should call God by his name. Because calling him by his names will make him move and act on our behalf. I remember that back that uh, the story in the Bible of the blind man who called Jesus the son of David. When he called him by that name, Jesus turned and moved and he attended to him. I pray that as we call God by his name, especially even as it relates to what concerns you, he will move on your behalf and attend to your case and my case in Jesus' name. Amen. We have been made to understand that our Lord Jesus Christ loved names. If you look at it like we're to, in the book of Matthew, verse 18, 11, he calls himself the Son of Man. He called himself the door in John 10, verse 7. He called himself the bread of life in John 6, verse 35. You know, when he introduces things, he, called, he made us understand. Like also how when he was telling the children of Israel, you know, about when he was telling them, he said, I am the Lord that he let thee. Praise the Lord. When God was telling the Israelites that they would not get infected with the diseases of the Egyptians, he made them understand that he is the Lord that he let them. Even th by that word, we hold on to that word, and that word has been doing wonders. So our Lord, our God, Jesus Christ is a, is, is, is a God of all so many names. And interestingly, his name, Jesus, is above all other names. So we are being encouraged to call him by his name. You know, and what best our calling him by his names? It is also through our relationship with him. You know, just like he was introducing himself to the Israelites, telling them that, see, you people, uh, that disease that you are seeing that is lying around, it will not happen to you. And so that they will not doubt, he's telling them that, see, I am the God that he left you. Praise the Lord. So when you see how God has moved, when you have experienced God in so many ways, it moves you to give him even a name. No wonder he introduced himself as the I am that I am. Because he is a God in so many dimensions, like it was coined here. Because he knew he was going to show himself in so many dimensions as a protector to them. As a provider to them. In short, he became a way. He was a light to them. You know, and that's why he was, he is and still is the I am that I am. And because he's the I am that I am, he can show up also in your life in different dimensions. And you will get one, or see this dimension through your relationship with him. In the case of Abraham, Abraham came up with the name Jehovah Jireh through his experience with us, our God, when he provided for him. A lamb for him, even when he did not even he had he did not even think such a thing will come, and God did rather than sacrificing his, his son, the Lord provided what he was what he should sacrifice. Also, in the case of Moses, Moses called him Jehovah Nissi, because this God delivered them from the Amalekites. You know, and so as you as you relate with God, as you relate with Him. On a daily basis, every now and then, you see him in different dimensions. And he wants you to relate with him and call him through those names. Because he shows intimacy. Like that example that the Lord gave. That in his own community, they call people by their special name. You know, there are some names that people call you. That if a particular person calls you that name, there's a way it moves you. You know, it draws more meaning to you than even when other people call you. Adventure, maybe your parents call you something, your husband, your wife, when they call you that name, you know, there's, it, it becomes special. It is special because you know that they have a particular relationship with you. That is why they call you that name. You know, mothers can be fond of calling their children a particular name that so many people are not calling them that. And when you hear such names from the mouth of your mother or your father, you know that, yes, it is from their core being. And, you know, it moves you. Even when they call you that, and probably they want to send you on iron. They want it helps you want to do even much more. That is when God sees that you are calling him his name based on the relationship you have with him. 
based on what you know that he has the capacity to do, it moves him to do it for you. And that's why the word of God says it is without faith. It is impossible to please the good Lord. When you call in the, I am, the God that he lets you, even while there is sickness in your body, and you are you you know and you are holding on to that word, it will move him, knowing that yes, you trust him, knowing that yes, you have faith and you have confidence in him. It will move him to do wonders in your life. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will open our eyes. He will help us to see him in so many dimensions. Because really, God is revealing himself to us. He's revealing himself to everyone. He says on the last day that he will pour his spirit among all flesh. And he has poured his spirit among all flesh so that we can open our so that we can see him, so that we can relate with him. Just like he said, he said, the time has come. He said, a, a time is come and now it is that we will worship him in spirit and in truth. You know, worshiping him in spirit and in truth will enable you to will enable your core being to address God for who he is. It will enable you, even when you are going through situations, it will enable you to address him, you know, with that faith of what you know he can do. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the Holy Spirit will open our eyes. He will open your eyes as many under the sound of my voice. He will reveal God to you in greater dimensions, in dimensions that you need him, in dimensions that will transform your life. And you will be able to call him the names that he wants you to call him. You will be able to call him names that will turn situations around. That will make you worship him. And you will ask, worship him acceptably. And he will reward you in return. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are told that at different points, you know, a lot, they needed God to provide for them. For the children of Israel. You know, for protection, for healing and all that. And God reveals himself in different in, in, in different dimensions. So, if you want God to move in a particular dimension, call him by a name that relates to what you want him to do for you. And I pray that as you call him by the, the name that you want him to relate with himself to you, he will move on your behalf and do wonders in Jesus' name. Amen. The reflection is, what is that name that you have for God? based on your experience with him. Why don't you think about it? Allow the Holy Spirit to reveal that name for you and watch God move on your behalf. Thank you so much for being part of the review for today. God bless you. Amen.